the, the North Canterbury Farming for Profit program with Beef and Lamb New Zealand have been out at Marshdale for the day um, looking at Agricom's Diverse Pasture Species trial. Uh, we just heard from Alistair, so there's another short video on uh, species selection. And now we're going to hear from Glenn Judson, who's the nutritionist with Agricom, uh, and he's going to talk through some of the animal performance that they've recorded in the short space of time so far that the trial has been going. Glenn. Great, thanks Sarah and welcome to welcome to Marshdale. Um, yeah, the, the way that we're evaluating this, these multi-species mixes is um, using animals to tell us in terms of the carrying capacity and also the uh, animal growth rates that we're getting off um, these different species. And they make a little bit of interest in reading. Obviously we're in the, the start of this and, and we need to carry this, these, this work on. But I think it's, it's interesting to look at um, over the first 84 days um, how we've been going in terms of the productivity of these. So the, the multi-species mix here, um, lots of different species. Um, we're in, its, in the third time that we've, uh, or the third rotation of that. We're ca currently carrying about 2.9 animals per hectare. Um, that has decreased as um, we've got into quite what has been quite a, um, a, a difficult autumn. Currently these animals are growing at about 0 0.79, 0 0.8 of a kilo a day. Um, and I think that reflects um, uh, some of the lower growth rates as we uh, got through the real fibrous material um, that was uh, here to start with. Um, now we're, we're back to some very uh, good green material and we're seeing those growth rates lift. So over time I, I, I'm expecting that those um, growth rates um, will, will, certainly, um, will certainly increase. Um, the, the 50 year old pasture, um, that, that's been um, uh, stocked at about 1.7 so again quite short shoulders in particular under the autumn that we've had, um, we've had to destock that over time um, as the as the growth rates of that pasture have gone down. Um, they are currently still doing 0.71 um, in terms of uh, kilograms uh, per day, so still um, uh, useful, but probably at the lower end of the um, performance that we've got um, over those 84 days. The um, the uh, coxfoot that we've been grazing on a lax um, uh, rotation with um, high pre-grazing covers um, and, and, and leaving quite a lot behind, um, they've been stocked at 2.4, but They've been averaging 1.1 kilos a day. I think one of the reasons that's the case is that we do have quite a good red clover and uh, lucerne content there. So um, some good legume content, um, and they have been um, they've been growing uh, quite uh, quite well. Um, the other the other two treatments, which are the intensive. Um, um, treatments, uh, they have lots of um, herbs and legumes in them. The fescue mix, which we know, we know fescue um, um, hosts a large um, clover and herb content. They've been growing at 1.2 kilos a day, holding a stocking rate just under five. So they're, they're very intensively managed, but because of those high legume and herb um, contents, we've seen some really good growth rates out of that. So that's uh, 1.2. The intensive ryegrass mix, obviously um, the ryegrass getting away uh, quite early at establishment, and probably there's not quite as much clover and herb in there, um, they're still growing at one kilo a day, holding 5.1 cows per hectare. So um, holding slightly more, but I think the, the legume content is probably leading to that slightly lower um, growth rate to this point. Be interesting to follow those through as we go through um, the, the autumn and, and then um, next spring and, and summer to see um, how those might change. But I think um, the growth rates do reflect a little bit in, in terms of um, the uh, herb and clover content. I think I'm expecting this multi species mix to improve as um, we get past the uh, very fibrous um, uh, um, phase of this um, and there's, there's awesome legume in here so I'm expecting the, the growth rates of those to lift but um, of course this is uh, something that we're doing over a you know a three to five year period and it'll be interesting to see how they um, they come out at the end of it. Cool, fantastic, thanks Glenn. It's really good to see that you're starting to collect some really good base information on this to start with and being able to continually collect that information over the years uh, with all the animals that you've got will be great to see the results, how they go, because of course animals are the ones that show the true worth of the product that we put into the ground because uh, they turn out our product out the gate. Thanks Sarah. Cool, thanks Glenn.